I'm your host, Amelia Kane, and I have the honor of interviewing Michael Bakesha, one of our senior attorneys. Michael, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me, Amelia. Now, you've been tirelessly working on South Bend. Can you just tell us about what you've been working on? Sure. So Judicial Watch has two lawsuits against the city of South Bend. Um, the first lawsuit is for records about a ID program that they created a couple of years ago. And the second one is about audio tapes between police officers that have racist comments on it that the former mayor of South Bend is trying to cover up. So can you dive into that subject more? Racist comments. Why are they trying to cover this up? Because it, it may be unfavorable to um, the former mayor, who is Peter Buttigieg, who is uh, now running for president. Um, but several years ago, there was an issue about racism within the police department. Um, a couple cops were caught on tape um, making racist statements, um, talking about the police chief. In the end, instead of um, the police officers being punished, the police chief, uh, the former mayor, fired the police chief. And no one's quite sure why that went down the way it did. And so the city has been fighting to keep these tapes secret for several years. And now there's talk about um, trying to sweep them under the rug. So Judicial Watch did what it does best. It went in, it sued, and we're hoping to uh, make those available to the public. Now, taking a step back, why would the city of South Bend give municipal ID cards to its citizens like this? Yeah, so, so what they decided to do was instead of under federal law, they can't give ID cards directly to illegal aliens. So what they did was they found a nonprofit in town that was willing to give them to provide illegal aliens with municipal IDs. And the mayor at the time, Pete Buttigieg, decided not only are they going to get these non-government ID cards, but we're then going to bless them as though they're I municipal ID cards. So you can use these nonprofit ID cards to open a bank, to get a library card, and do other things that you would need an ID for. Can you vote with these cards? You can't vote with the cards, um, but you can do everything else that under federal law, the city itself could not provide these aliens. And so there was a uh, story in the paper about a year ago saying this is one of the um, things that Mayor Pete is most proud of. And so I saw that, we saw that, and we're like, oh, that's interesting. I wonder what records there are on it. Yes. You know, he must have emails figuring out how this program's going to work. So we sent public records requests. I think we sent a total of five of them. Yes. They had no records. They told us that Mayor Pete has no emails. I'm not sure I've met a 38-year-old that doesn't email, right. and so I just don't believe it. And so right now we're taking depositions of um, city officials trying to figure out where these missing records are. Now, I'm sure our viewers back home want to know, why, what do the people in South Bend think of this? Do you have any idea? Do you have a clue that you can give us? You know, I don't have a clue on what the people of South Bend think about it. I know that after we sued, there was a lot of outrage by the nonprofit organization. And so they held a rally of sorts where they invited people to have a drive to get IDs that day. And it doesn't sound like that many people showed up. All right. My last question to you is this. Where does Judicial Watch go from here? So we keep on fighting. So yes. on the police tapes case, uh, we're going to be in court fighting for the disclosure of those tapes. Uh, when it comes to the records about the ID program, uh, we continue to get RIN answers under oath yes. um, from city officials, and we may be uh, deposing some more people in the upcoming future. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Michael. Thanks, Amelia. And thank you for tuning in to CPAC 2020 with Judicial Watch. 